Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about any upcoming things, upcoming movies, what have you been doing, and all of that. So let's get to it. Um, I also want to hear anything that you are pre-ordering or buying or you're looking forward to because I may not be on the loop on everything and I would like to see and hear any new things. So I'm always on the lookout. Uh, one of the first things I do is I go to Blu-ray.com, I look there's always deals here there's new things like uh, Beetlejuice this is 50 bucks it's a 4k it doesn't bring a steelbook so any of you looking for steelbooks maybe that this is not it but maybe there's a 4k steelbook coming out soon etc etc um, I'm always interested in this the Ultraman I'm pretty sure I already pre-ordered that so it's 44 99 50 bucks and so on. Uh, we have some Blu-ray collection here from Alejandro Jodorowsky. I probably killed that. Uh, this one, the Columbia Classics. Uh, I'll leave that in uh, the link in the description. I pre-ordered it. It should be shipping here to me soon. Maybe I have no clue when it when I'll get it, but hopefully I'll get it soon. I know that uh, some of my upcoming steelbooks are going to be onward from Best Buy. Blues Brothers in 4K, that one looks good at, at Best Buy. Braveheart in 4K too, the Steelbook. I think I have the, the regular Blu-ray, but 4K will look awesome. I think that movie will look awesome in 4K. And another good, good, good thing that I'm... Uh, beautiful set that it's already on its way. It's going to take a while because right now I'm still in Mexico. It's the HD Zito One Click for Shazam. That looks like a beauty and it's just gonna take a while for it to come here unfortunately that's that's kind of sad uh, but that's the that's how it is I know I have been seeing a lot of my my youtubers that I, I, I follow that a lot of the malls are opening in the States some of the stores are opening back in the UK so that's excellent that's awesome uh, just always be careful take care but now they're starting to do the blu-ray hunt so that, um, i'm getting the itch i want to i want to go by but the stores are still closed here in mexico so they still have the lockdown um it was kind of delayed here the the pandemic hurt, occurred pretty much in the bigger countries first and then it slowly trickled down to us so we're gonna have to wait on that a little bit longer so hopefully i could get myself into those stores look at any good deals they hey they they come up with some good deals and some steel books that are not available in the states are available here so go figure i don't know uh they did announce where's the criterion mm, is it not here there you go criterion announces september t uh, titles the only issue that i see here is that criterion still has not released any 4k's Will they do it? I, I'm thinking because they did Laserdisc, DVDs, Blu-rays. I mean, they should be thinking about that soon. So, who knows? Hopefully. They, they do call them 4K restorations. But I don't think they are on actual 4K disc and 4K quality. So, we have The Elephant Man. That's cool. Naked City. I have no idea what that is. Brute Force. Uh, uh, what's what's this is? Brute Force. View Travel. I don't don't know about that one. Christ stopped at Eboli. Is that how you say it? Yeah. And then a Martin Scorsese. Where is it? Martin Scorsese World Cinema Project Number Three. Brings Lucia after the curfew. Pixo, Dos Monjes, Soleil, and Downpour. All right, that's pretty cool. So we he we see the the artwork. This is the yeah with Anthony Hopkins and John Hurt Hawk and directed by David Lynch. So this may get picked up quickly. So those are just the comments. I like going to Blu-ray.com and looking at, at all of this stuff because you can see, like, right there, you get the uh, the deals up here. Very cool site, and there you go, 4K. 
very cool site to see any deals and any news because I love the the upcoming stuff. So here we get the the news. There's a ton of news here. But yeah, that's that's the main thing. Uh, Criterion not announcing any 4K releases again. Malls getting opened. I am very jealous, but please be careful. Please be careful. Just follow follow the guidelines. Why not? Uh, right now, what I have been doing is on top of you know trying to catch up on movies, playing video games. I have been playing with the RG 350M, which is the the metal one. And let me tell you, this thing is awesome. Um, it's it's really cool. The system it's well built. So if you're into retro or want to get into retro retro gaming, I recommend this one. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. It's from AliExpress. You can find them on Amazon, Retro Mini. There's many places where you can find this one. And I absolutely recommend it for any retro stuff. Um, that is it for today, guys. There's no unboxing. I do have stuff coming in. Um, a lot of steelbooks, a lot of stuff that they're going to be shipping to me now that things are starting to get a little bit more relaxed. Everybody, please be safe. I want to hear what you're picking up, any pre-orders, anything that you recommend that I did not talk about today. Um, I am going to get the Flash Gordon, and I think I'm going to get the Zavi one. I did manage to get some of the Zavi Star Wars. I missed one, but I have a friend on Reddit. He's going to help me out to get the other one. And now I know what date and time to be up to get that sucker. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a like. Subscribe. Please comment, share, and do that good stuff. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.